This is the second in the series of uh, radiogram tutorials that I'll be composing. And at this recording, I'm going to show you how to encode an image into MFSK64. We're only going to do one image. Uh, there are protocols for doing a sequence of images. We will encounter that in a later tutorial. But for now, just one image. And here is the image that I have um, to encode this morning, this small image of um, a couple of gentlemen with uh, a series of radio equipment. And the first thing we want to make sure is that the image size is optimized well for radiogram. And from what I understand, the secret recipe is 220 pixels in the largest dimension is probably the limit you want to uh, adhere to for transmission purposes uh, because there's lots of errors that can be in introduced and the larger the image, the more likely you can have problems. So real quickly, I'm going to check adjust size. My image is 200 by 217. That should be sufficient. Okay. So, as always, when making a recording in FL Digi, we want to make sure that we've got audio capture to a file. So, I'm going to do uh, click the transmission TX generate and select an appropriate place for that. Um, where's my radio stuff? And I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder for image captures. Okay, so this is where we shall put it. This is going to be our um, CBS radio set. Okay, we're set to save. Now, the next thing that we must do is we need to make certain that uh, we are encoding an image into the transmission box. So I'm in the blue transmission box. I will right click and select send image. Okay. Now another little dialog opens up, a little pop up. I'm going to drag this over here and it says load the, the type. So I'm going to grab my file here, CBS listening and drag it into the box. And there it is. Now there's a series of buttons in here do not press any of these buttons because that will change the transmission speed which will have a um, unhappy effect on our encoding so leave those be now we go back to the transmission box and we type in our text which is uh, let's see um, a little short description uh, variety of equipment, let's say. Okay, now that I, I've, I've done that, uh, what I can do is I can grab my image again and then drag it into this window. And it says, here's the image. And you notice at the end of the image, I'm going to go ahead and add a space there. Uh, that's the name of the file. And then there's an escape with an exclamation point. Point. And what that is saying is it's going to transmit this text that I put shortwave listening at the CBS facility. Then it's going to transmit the, the image file name, image, CBS listening post May 1941, and then escape to a command. And the command is to engage this uh, image transmit command. Okay. Uh, and then we'll go down. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's get rid of that. And after it does that, we want it to say something else. Um, do, and then we will naturally escape the transmission. So let's see, shift, caret, and R. Okay. So now let's see if this works. I'm going to hit the transmit button and be quiet for a little while so I don't disrupt the transmission. It should take all this text 
and watch the upper gold pane uh, once it's going to type in red what it's transmitting and once it gets to the caret exclamation point let's see what happens All right, there we go. Uh, you may have heard a few stutters during the recording capture. I think that's the limits of my processing speed. I have a load of things open on my desktop right now. Yeah, I should probably close down a bunch of things to, to minimize the amount of RAM that's being used. But I, it doesn't seem to have a, a harmful effect on, on the recording. In fact, let's double check that. So I'm going to go to the um, recording I captured, which is here, 13.7 megs. We'll go ahead and open this up with Audacity. And let's go ahead and play and see if we are able to decode this properly. So let's play. Oh, let's see, I gotta select it all, don't I? There we go, play. Hmm. Tell you what, let me close some of these other files because I think one of those has the focus. So here we go. Oh, starting the decode. Oh, perfect. You can see the small window has popped up where we're actually decoding the transmission. And let's see. Because it'll take two minutes to decode, I'm going to go ahead and stop and uh, conclude there, but that gives you a reasonable idea of the workflow of how to encode and transmit an image. Uh, in subsequent tutorials, I'll go over some details on how to uh, do a series of images 
But you know, for me, I think for now, I'm just going to do them one at a time and then stack them in my uh, audio uh, compositor, uh, Audacity or whatever audio editing, multi-track editing tool works best for you. Okay, that's it for now.